How did you feel when you first came into the room on, um, on our first menopause meeting? Um, well, a, a sort of sense of feeling I should, um, be, I should be here just because I needed to think about it all. And, you know, but I was a bit embarrassed. Um, but there was a sort of feeling I should know about it already. Mm. You should know about it. Um, yeah, I think that I, I first got that feeling when um, when I started my period. I was in a library, and I just started bleeding. I was only ten, and um, and then I went home, and my mum just said, "Oh, I thought you knew all about it, you know." So, um, you know, I was quite upset actually. I'd had sex education at school, but um, I hadn't really learnt very much, and um, I was just really, really, you know, um, not exactly scared, but upset by it, yes. you know. Um, and then I realised that when I started the menopause, that that was the se- you know the same sort of thing. That like I didn't really know what was going on, mm. and um, and I was going to some homeopath at the time, this man, um, and just asked him you know about it, and he said, oh well, you know it's just um, before you had the, your period, and now you you've got hot flushes instead, and it's a way of um, discharging from your system, and that was it. <laughs> so. Um, so what did you do to help yourself with menopause? Well, I took, um, you know, I found out about herbs and, home- and homeopathic remedies I used a lot as well. That mm-hmm. really helped. Yeah, I, I've been taking homeopathic remedies yeah. and yeah. it helps a lot. Yes. <laughs> so now we're coming to the end of our meetings. we eight weeks on. And um, how do you feel now about the menopause and what have you gained? What I've sort of realised is that before I was like on my own and it's sort of typical of how isolated we all are, you know, in society at the moment. Being in the group, I just realised that um, that I was just the same as everyone else. Mm -hmm. You know, but in the end, you know, whatever the symptoms, I mean, some people sort of say they go mad and, you know, people, you know, they get huge, horrible things happen to them, you know, but... In the end, you're just one of them having, you know, these symptoms and, mm-hmm. and you're just like everyone else. And that, that it sort of helps you to see that, that, you know, and put it in a context. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be great if there were more of these groups, you know, mm-hmm. if somewhere where people can go and especially if there's women there who understand much more because obviously, you know, male doctors can't understand. But it, it'd be great if there was... we. Could, somehow infiltrate society's thinking on it so that in the end you know there could be maybe people sort of celebrating their menopause yeah. maybe having a party and you know just uh, you know, aware they're going to become sort of wiser and as they get older you know yeah that's great yeah <laughs>